Hi and welcome back to another episode on the Budget Mini Clubman. We're at the front. Yeah, so here's the scenario. We're on lockdown. I'm running low on welding gas. We're making really good road on the Cooper. But I just don't want to risk running out and not getting anything done because I'll crawl the walls if I can't get on with something. So my mindset is got a spot welder and I have a little bit of gas left for MIG welder. Let's see how far we get with the front end because the front end now I have a spot welder won't require so much MIG welding. Well, that's the plan. So we managed to get the eight panels off John right at the beginning of the episode of this whole series. So thanks again for that, John. We also managed to source a Clubman front end, a heritage one, so really happy about that. This whole accident damage here is bugging me. It really has ever since we got the car. The first time I've ever seen a grill on this car and you can see quite how bent it is now. And I don't think people quite realised that when they first saw it. They're like, you can say that is a budget. The club and square at the front, it should be as square as possible. And that's my mindset about it. So this really is quite bent. I don't even have the indicator for this side. I didn't come with the car, so I'm assuming it snapped in half because it's quite, quite far in. I mean, that's where it should be level. So you've got that much gap where it should be. Um, and you can see how sort of drooped the whole side is there. That wing's bowed out that side, and you can see quite how much filler's been popped into it. And it's just, it's just a mess, really. So I can't live with that. It's not happening. So you receive from the little startup bit there that there's loads of rust on the driver's side wing, and I really wanted to save that side. But once again, it's only going to bug me if the rust comes back. So let's get it out. Um, yeah, let's see where we go. What I'll do is I'll walk you around in a minute, and I'll show you the points that we're going to use to take the front end off. I have a bit of a plan for this front end. It's not going to go to scrap man. Um, so I will be taking off a bit of a coolie away. So I'm going to sort of slice it out of the door post where the A panel is, not unpick it between the A panel and the wing. I want to save that and I'm going to trim it all the way around the edges because I have a plan for it, which I might include in the channel one day. But for now, that's how I'm taking it off. So don't follow me if this is how you get a club on the front end off or a mini front end off. But I will show you the points to take it off if you were to do it a traditional way. Soft frames obviously already in the car. Um, what I'll probably do is strip it. I do actually have another um, front subframe which I'll probably use to mock up the whole front end all on stands and stuff. And we'll go from there really. If I can get everything sort of clamped and bolted or screwed, I'm going to use tech screws again together. That'd be really quite nice. Can't wait to see it square at the front. Bonnet wise, this bonnet's actually not in bad shape. There's two dents either side here where someone's obviously slammed the bonnet down. So I'm going to have to try and sort them out. But a club and front bonnet, I think. 240 pounds from Heritage, and you can only buy Heritage unless you buy some awful fiberglass things. But I'm not a fiberglass man, so sorry for the people out there that love fiberglass bonnets. But for me, no. I want this car to look quite traditional at the end, so it has to be quite correct in that way. So, all still front end for me. The grill this is the grill I will be running with. So, this is the earlier type grill for the Clubman. My 72 Estate has it if you've seen the video on that. Um, so, it has the extra chrome. Originally, this car would have had. Um, basically these two areas of chrome deleted and we've had a middle band with a Leyland badge here and the chrome on the outside. Fair enough, that's what I should really go with if I was doing an original build, but now I chose to decide to change the colour to an earlier colour. I'm going to go with the earlier grill. This is actually the grill that came with the car as well, so I don't think it's the grill that was in the accident with that because the grill's straight enough, it's a bit bent in the middle somewhere, but it's not that bad. But this will be what I was going with. I really wanted an early style GT one. Without the GT badge, I would never make it a replica. But it, it just has a bit less chrome on it and quite looks quite aggressive. So I've not been lucky enough to find one. And I think if I found one, I couldn't afford to find, buy it anyway. And the last one I saw in really good nick was over 200 pounds. So yeah, not gonna be happening. So we'll be running with this. Yeah, so let's dive in. Let's see where we're at. And let's see the points to the areas that we need to cut off and trim back. Right, so starting at the front. So here's your inner wing. That's where my chassis plate would normally sit. I've obviously primed the engine bay, sort of rough primed it. It's not final coat, it's all dusty in the corner where I've been working on it. But the engine bay, I'm quite happy with. If you ever remember, there's a big old hole there. You can see that I'm really happy with that repair. It's one of the first repairs I did on the car. So that job's done. So front end wise, you'll see the corrosion at the top. So the Clubman inner wing, uh, sorry, the Clubman outer wing comes up to here. This is part of it. So this whole area is rotted out. So it had originally then been spot welded all the way down here. Apologize for the wind noise. And you can see the spot weld marks where this front panel is then overlapped onto that. So it's quite a lot more going on with a Clubman front. I obviously have the whole front panel, so I wouldn't have to weld any of this together. It's all ready to get done. Same story this side. Uh, there'll be spot welds all the way up there. 
this side itself isn't all holy or horrible, which is a shame the swing has to go, but there's holes and holes all the way down there. So fitted here, it looks like there's some sort of weld. Don't know if that's factory. Um, I think what someone's trying to do is straight in front of the car out. Um, and then it's obviously spot welded all the way down this seam. All of this is obviously spot welded originally, but that's all fitted to my new front panel. So the club and the front end is made up of many panels. So we've got the slam panel, centre support, lower panel, and a headlight ring each side. So you've got one, two, three, four, five panels just on the front panel of the Clubman. So that's already done for me. I've just got to mount it to the subframe and go from there. Um, these tabs come on the new wing. So again, don't have to worry about that. So yeah, we're going to see how we get on with it. Now I mentioned that I'm going to cut the front end off in a slightly peculiar way because of a plan I've got for the car. So obviously it's attached here to the A panel wing. I'm going to be slicing it kind of straight up here or I might take the doors off. Well, I will have to take the doors off and I'll cut it like you take a door skin off down that seam. And I want to keep this and that attached together. It all makes sense when I, if I do show what I'm doing with it on, on the channel. So that's basically where we're at, but this is the real bad side. You can see it's actually completely fell to pieces, very badly corroded because of that. And I've never seen so much filler in a car. So yeah pretty bad big old dent and you can't really catch it in the camera but this is actually like flared it's bowed out so again i'll be cutting up here this a panel's gone all the way around it up here doesn't seem too bad so on the other side you notice there's a hole on the sidewalk i had a hole there as well and i made a piece to go in because the rest of the scarf is absolutely fine we're not getting involved cutting that off that's all completely original so we'll keep that bonnet wise there's a bit of surface rust sort of coming through on it along there but we're gonna have to do what we can do try and save it um it's the dents and the dents are under this support sorry for really poor light there there's a support there obviously running up the bonnet and the dents are there you can see them on camera it's like someone's pushed down on it so I'm just going to have to fill them, I think. So, but the rest of the bonnet's really good. Amazingly, not many stone chips. A bit of surface rust from the stone chips that are on it. But we can sort all that. But the rest of it's really quite straight. We'll find out how good it is when we lay the new front end on. So, there we are. Let's get cutting. Right, so I thought I'd bring you guys in, show you my technique for getting spot welds out, basically. So, like I mentioned, I'm taking this off in a different sort of way. So, I've cut around there, I've cut through the center of the A panel. That's not for you to guys to follow if you were to follow this video. It's merely the way I want to take this front end off because I have a plan for the front end after. Like, it's a bit of a funny use for it. So, going on from that, there's obviously spot welds all the way up there, which I've started to drill out. You can see the rust between it all. But I've knocked this lip back, and then my, with my chisel, I've basically punched down as far as I can, and that highlights where the, the actual spot welds are. So that's one thing I struggle with sometimes with cars, because the spot welds are so well hidden, you can't often see them. So you could be sitting there all day trying to find where to drill out, but by doing this look, you can see very easily how pronounced they all look. So that's just a little tip from me, if you guys struggle with that. And again, they're barely held on with anything down there. So like I say, we're nearly off. 
drilled all these out at the front because obviously you want to retain the inner wings because they're good. I've noticed at the bottom of this inner wing it actually does need a repair so we'll get to that. I've obviously drilled out as many as I can along there. That's the front end off. Right, apologies for not filming the whole of the removal of the front end. Um, number one, the camera ran out of battery. And number two, all of this, taking off these spot wells took so long. It would have been an incredibly boring video. But we are off. And it's not any gremlins yet that I wasn't already aware of. So I've still got to take off some of the panel here see all the surface rust that's between the two panels which is one thing i've always said that's why i put some paint between stuff so all this just needs hammer and dollying straight the actual inner wings are really really good obviously i, I sorted all this which we'll need redoing now but yeah so i just got that and that that side if you remember i knew about that but it turned into that so i'm gonna have to make a little piece to go in there so if I can make the repair piece that went in there, I should be able to make that. Obviously, I've got to still take this this slip off. That'll just be folded round the um, door post. So I'll just whip the doors off and take them off. You now see where my repair came up to. So this is another thing. Look how shiny that is. That's original paint. So really happy with that. There's no more. That's where I did that crack that was in the inner wing. There's nothing that I wasn't already aware of that I haven't. I've uh, sort of awoken, if you know what I mean. Got to do that. Moving along here, you might never have seen it, but I did point it out in the first video. I've just got to make a little step there to go on there. I think the water sat in there and rotted that out, but it shouldn't be too bad. Same again there. This side, I'm absolutely amazed. That is completely solid. Obviously, there the spot where the front of the wing had, so just clean all that back. Got to make a little piece for that, which always is part of this piece. So yeah, loads of cleaning up to do now. And again, the A panels take off there. You can see here as well. That's a repair that was just tacked to the inside of the rust. So wonderful. But that's part of the A panel, so that's going. But all in all, no gremlins, which is really good. Like I say, the little repairs that I have got to do, I did know about. So it's a case of cleaning back the rest of this, cleaning all of this back, you know, why will everything, all the inner wings completely. I won't even think about putting a new front end near it until I've done that. Then I make all these little pieces up. They're, they're little things I'm hoping some of my off-cut off panels might be able to sort, but I'm obviously not putting a scuttle on it. It doesn't need a scuttle. I did the same repair on my sidewalk, and that is the original scuttle to this car, so I am going to take the time to repair it. We're on a budget, but even if we weren't, I still would take the time to repair that because a scuttle is a big, big job as it is, but you can save that. So all underneath is clean. Um, there's no issues underneath, so it's worth saving. Yeah, there she is. Right guys, thank you for watching this video. The front end's off. That was my main aim with this. I did sort of think I could just slap the new front end on, but it's not gonna be that the case it never is with a project you, you do get a bit giddy but nonetheless i haven't found anything i didn't already know about so i can take the time now to make some repair patches up move the rest of this like mentioned and yeah we should be away and then start lining up a new front end the reason i've taken the front end off the way i did is i was going to save it for something but how halfway through doing it and it obviously taking longer to do it that way so i wanted to save pull it off in one go I then realised it was that bad, it wasn't actually going to be good enough what I wanted to do. So I've actually just chopped it up. So that's gone. So don't follow me if that's the way you want to take a front end off. Take the time to drill spot welds out. Or you obviously can do it the same way I did it because it did come off. So it came off in one piece. But it's now chopped up and gone because it was that bad and bent and rotten. So I'm really happy that it's going. Um, at the beginning of this build, I wanted to replace a wing and pull the rest out. So glad I didn't do that. 
So whether it's on a budget or not, you still need to do the job properly. So loads of cleaning to do now. That's me done for today though, but the next day, clean all this back. Obviously everywhere I've sort of ripped spot welds, I'll go along with a bit of copper, tack it all together and clean everything up. All the way along these top wings or obviously along there. I'm gonna leave them and clean them up because I can't actually get a spot welder in there anyway. So I've just tried before I took the front end off and you can't get the, the um, arms in. So I will have to plug weld that, it's no biggie. Just clean it all back. So I've actually pre-rolled my plug welding holes by doing that, so one I'm cleaning everything back. I saw that, obviously if they, they need hammer and dollying straight, but I'll do all that once I know how far out they are on the line of the front end up. But yeah, not a bad afternoon's work really. It's a big chunk of rust gone. It looks awful now and doesn't look like a clubman anymore, but <laughs> it's a job that needs to be done. So follow along if you if you, this is the first video you've seen or go back and check out the rest of them. There's obviously loads to come on this car. Front end's the really big job left of this. After that, it's the doors. They're the two big jobs really on this car. Then I've still got a sort of passenger floor passenger seal and then we'll go on to the back but like I mentioned I'm a bit cautious about gas but hopefully I can sort that out in the next few days I don't know um, time will tell with that if not you might see me doing some other random stuff like cleaning up parts which I find so boring but still jobs that need to be done I can make repair panels up I can get everything ready to go for when I do get gas so just got to play all that by ear really so thanks again for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and go back and check the rest of the series out if you haven't already seeing the rest of them obviously we're going to be still going along with the cooper that's a completely different side of things that's literally repairs um inner seals and seals and stuff like that so if you have been watching that thank you very much please just give, give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you in the next one please everyone stay safe in this troubled time that we're all in and yeah get on with your projects or get your grinder out like me and just cut your car up swings and roundabouts catch you in the next one